I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Morning, good morning, or should I say, good afternoon. Right, it is the 13th of November. I uh, sent off an email and another letter responding to Auckland Transport this morning, or just at lunchtime, with all the relevant legislation that I'm using, just as they do. Okay guys, so I'll just read out the, uh, the letter that I sent to them today on the 13th of November, just quickly for you. Uh, by email at infringements at at.govt.nz to whom I may concern parking adjudication team and attention Lee Jenkin. We refer to your further correspondence dated 3rd of November 2018 in relation to an alleged stationary vehicle offence infringement notice number 30662438825 which we received via post on the 12th of October 2018. Thank you for supplying the relevant legislation, however, we are not legally trained to correctly interpret this. On the 25th of October 2018, we accepted this claim by Auckland Transport against Mark Donnelly at King for Value, provided that Auckland Transport can supply evidence of this alleged offence being committed allegedly by Mark Donald Eric Keane, evidence of this Auckland of Auckland Transport's jurisdiction and evidence of Auckland Transport's authority. In our correspondence to Auckland Transport, we formally elected and or requested a court hearing to discuss this matter in the prescribed manner in accordance with Summary Proceedings Act 1957 Section 21 Subsection 6, see below, which appears to have been ignored by Auckland Transport. Should Auckland Transport choose to withdraw this allegation against Mark Donald Eric Keane without prejudice, no further action will be required. We note that the photograph associated with this allegation online included below does not show broken yellow lines, however they do show a private motor car associated with the registration plate FAN 394 and confirm the private motor car to be parked in a P90 parking area and parked in a white painted parking spot or white hockey sticks, that's parking warden lingo, um, which we have returned and documented for any future proceedings in regards to this matter. Furthermore, we note that this allegation is a Category 1 criminal offence and that the onus probandi burden of proof is for Auckland Transport to establish evidence of this allegation against Mark Donald Eric Keane, who is one of two registered owners of this private motor car, to the criminal standard of beyond reasonable doubt will be required. Mark Donald Eric Keane maintains a presumption of innocence in accordance with rights affirmed in New Zealand, Bill of Rights Act 1990, Section 25C, see below. The leaflet supplied by Auckland Transport with the correspondence to request a court hearing will not be filled out as we believe this attempts to infringe against Mark Donald Eric Keane's rights affirmed under the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 Section 25D to not be compelled to confess or be a witness. Also see below. We have already requested a hearing in writing on the 25th of October 2018. Note also, we require information for Auckland Transport's accounts payable, as Auckland Transport, by issuing this notice, have entered into a tacit agreement with Mark Donald Eric Keane to pay on demand a $75 administration fee to process this notice. Notice of this fee will clearly be was clearly visible on both front and rear windscreens, which your photograph has captured. See below for notice displayed. Initial disclosure in accordance with section 12.1 of the Criminal Disclosure Act 2008 will be required by the date set for the preliminary hearing. Um, notice all correspondence will be recorded and published on multiple platforms for maximum accountability and transparency in accordance with New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 section 14. Notice failure to respond within 28 days shall constitute a tacit agreement that Auckland Transport have failed to establish evidence of this claim, evidence of authority and evidence of jurisdiction with regards to this matter. Warmest regards me. Um, so, we'll see what they have to say today. Basically the fact that on the 25th they sent in that request asking for a court hearing. They received it on the 29th according to Adrian last night on the phone. So, why haven't I got a court hearing? Why have they ignored that? Um, and just given a generic, what looks like a generic thing, saying, nah, sorry, we still want you to pay, and splash that out to me. To me, I can only presume, without evidence, that um, they haven't read the letter correctly, or it's just blown off. Either way, um, they're 
alleging I've created or committed a Category 1 criminal offence of a stationary vehicle offence um, under the Summary Proceedings Act 1957 Section 21 6 Subsection 6 it states that all of the person that's had the allegation made against needs to do is to request a writing and hearing signed and to the address that they've supplied which is what I did on the 25th so why they've chosen to ignore that and send out a generic bullshit letter back to me I have no idea um, but unlike most I know what the rules are I know what I'm entitled to and what to ask for and when to ask for it so we'll see the you'll note in the photo that they've supplied it doesn't actually show the vehicle parked on broken yellow lines it shows broken yellow lines going up to it but because the cowardly warden took that photo 15 meters away under a shelter nowhere near the car because he was trying to do it covertly um, there's not enough detail in the photos to even show broken yellow lines um, in fact the photos I've taken show what's on the ground and as well as yellow lines there's also white lines or white hockey sticks marking a, a parking spot so we'll see what they have to say going to give them a call again on um, 355 355 3 Kia ora and welcome to Auckland Transport 2 Please note, your call may be recorded for verification and training purposes Hope so Hi there, welcome to Auckland Transport, speaking off Maggie Hi Maggie, how are you? Good, how are you? How may I help you today? Um, I'm wondering if I could be put through to the parking adjudication team please Um, because Adrian, the gentleman I spoke to at Auckland Transport last night, suggested I call back today and ask for them directly. Oh, okay. And may I ask who I'm speaking with? Mark. Thank you, Mark. Okay. And was this in regards to an infringement notice? Uh, yeah. Okay. Just in case they may ask me, Mark, what was your last name? Um, my family's last name is Keen, K W E N. Do you want the notice number? Uh, it's 3066 3066 243825 243825 perfect I'm just going to get through to them now cool. I'll try and fix them up for you get that ready just in case they might ask me a thousand questions <laughs> well I just I'm, I'm curious as to if they've got the letter that I sent dated on the 25th of October uh, according oh. to Adrian last night, he said that you guys got it around the 29th. So right. that's, that's what I'm going to be talking in reference to. Sure. The letter dated 3rd of November, is that what you're talking about? That's correct. Outcome of what? Um, so it does say here, they, uh, they did advise that um, they did send a letter in regard to the dispute, so it was the response of your dispute for the infringement. There wasn't a dispute, Maggie. There's no dispute. I've simply asked for a court hearing in relation to Summary Proceedings Act 1957, Section 21.6. I've, I've, in writing, requested a, a formally and elected for a court hearing, and in response, 10 days later, yeah. Auckland Transport have sent me a, a form asking me to request a court hearing, which I've already done. So I'm wondering why I haven't been sent a court summons. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure. Yeah, because I did speak with them and they said so, that they kept pushing back and saying, um, we did send the letter, he should know what he was doing. The, the letter... Um, on, the, yeah. on the third here states after reviewing your explanation I didn't give any explanation I didn't contest or, or deny or
cause, yeah. cause any impact, I accepted Auckland Transport's claim for value provided they could establish the evidence. Yeah. Um, Auckland Transport have made a, a criminal, a Category 1 criminal allegation against Mark Donald Eric Keane and I have the right to a court hearing. You guys offered that, I've asked for that in writing in response I'm being told that you guys have made a decision over an explanation which hasn't been given. So there is no dispute, I know that's what courts work on, is disputes and conflicts, but I'm staying in honour, I'm accepting their claim provided they could establish the evidence, which they haven't done thus far. Um, they haven't explained the cause and nature of the allegation, so I can't honestly enter a plea unless I'm fully and fairly so, informed. So what do you mean by cause and nature? Because it looks like the offence was in regards to um, parked in an area okay. marked by broken yellow line. I actually emailed through to the infringement.at.govt and said today, everything in relation and another letter explaining all of this. Cause and nature refers to the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 section 24A uh -huh. which means you can tell me a legislative rule such as land transport road users rule 2004 section 64 which means no parking on yellow lines. I'm not legally trained so telling me something in another language you might as well have told me in Japanese. So. I, I get that the description of the charge is that I've allegedly parked on yellow, broken yellow lines, uh -huh. but there are also white hockey sticks marking parking 90 spots there as well. So there's a conflict in the fact that what's marked on the road is more than one. There's, there's, it's, it's inaccurate, and basically the parking warden, 11, 1126, has taken that photograph from 15 metres away underneath Waitakere District Court's Concove in the rain, it shows no yellow lines. I've gone back and taken photographs myself and I'm looking forward to having that warden on the stand under oath so I can ask him what the hell he thought he was doing. So, I, I mean, I've done this before. I, I bet three police prosecutors over 10 months over an $80 speeding ticket and got it dismissed. So I'm happy to do this with Auckland Transport again. Yeah. So if you, Auckland Transport is going to make a criminal allegation against my person, it's the onus probandi, or burden of proof, is for them to establish. It is not for me to say whether I was the driver or not, which is what this little request for a court hearing is asking. I have, the, under, under Section 25D of the Bill of Rights, I have the right not to be compelled to be a witness or, or confess. That question, quite bluntly, is in breach of my rights. So, at the end of the day, Maggie, it's, it's all legal jargon, it's all hodgepodge that needs to be spoken and talked about in a court of law. I would like a court hearing. I've asked for that on the 25th and in response I've been threatened with debt collection and told you've made a decision over something that there's no debate over. I, there's no explanation. So when am I going to get a court hearing? I can double check. I'll you, double check with my team's support because I did advise the um, bank you, adjudication team but they... Are, are you legally they, trained? What do you mean legally trained? Are you trained in the language used in courts? Are you a lawyer? Are you legally trained? No, I'm not a lawyer. Right, well, well unless, unless, unless anyone is, then they need to understand this. And this is why I've asked to speak to an adjudicator. They should, they should yeah, know what I'm talking about. I advised you, Mark, that I tried to um, advise them to speak to you directly. But they, they advised me that they've already sent a letter. But because I, I was going to finish off and say I'll place you on hold and see if there's any other sure. option where we can get in contact with somebody more superior. Well, it, 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 to me it's somewhat... It, it's somewhat curious because why would Adrian last night at 5.30 from Auckland Transport tell me to call back today during business hours and ask to speak directly to and he said that the Auckland, that, that the adjudicator didn't have no problem speaking. I did advise them that too, but they, so they, they don't need So they're hiding behind the secretary, so to speak, and I would like yeah, to speak to some, sure. and, and it's unfair for you because you shouldn't have to cop this from me. I, I, I seriously just want to either have a court hearing or withdraw this matter. Because there's, Absolutely. you know, I I, ha, I I am it goes see what what happens in the Land Transport Act section one three one three three A is what you guys use for stationary vehicle offences. Mm. Under that section, it presumes that the registered owner is the driver of the vehicle. Okay, liable or liability means upon conviction. Until such time as I'm convicted, I am presumed innocent. That is section twenty five C of the Bill of Rights. 
So I'm, I'm not accepting liability for anything because that happens once I'm convicted until such time I'm innocent and I would like someone to give me a court hearing so I can go to court and have some fun. I love going to court. I, I drove the police nuts for 10 months and won. So I'm more than happy to go through this with Auckland Transport. Sure. I'll, I'll double check with my team support and see if they can actually refer me to somebody. Yeah. In regards to getting a court hearing request. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I've already given the request. I, I, I'm not filling out any other request form because the online request form and the physical one that was sent with the letter on the 3rd of November are both compelling me to be a witness against myself and breaching my Bill of Rights. Okay. And, and, and you've also missed, it. it says here you've got three options, to pay, request a court hearing as a guilty, or request a court hearing pleading not guilty. What about requesting a court hearing with a special plea? That's another option. You see, I, 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 I let the, the, the court system decide the rules and not what AT tells me I can and can't do. AT mm. is the plaintiff in this case. Absolutely. I'll, I'll quickly place you on hold and I shouldn't be there long, okay, bye? Thanks very much. Thank you. I muted it so that because they still listen and I would point out that um, this shows how they try and hide behind the phone numbers. They won't talk. Crazy, yeah. You notice how she said you can dispute. It's like there's got to be a conflict, there's got to be a battle, there's got to be two opposing parties. I'm not opposing anything. I've stayed in honour, I've accepted their claim for value provided they could establish the evidence. The way they do that is they have to do that in a court of law. Okay? So, this is where give me a court hearing comes into it. You notice they don't want to give me a court hearing. Why? Why give it an option to request a court hearing? Because they want me to request in their manner. They want me to request by either paying and skipping additional charges or in writing in some fashion. Not going to happen. Poor Maggie. I, I feel sorry for the, for the lady on the end of the phone, to be quite honest. I mean, here's a guy and I'm not being up myself here, who clearly understands the procedures, rules, regulations, and because I've been through it before, she's not legally trained or a lawyer. She doesn't understand what I'm telling her. So I could spout off law all day long. It means nothing to her. But a lawyer would understand what I'm talking about. But the adjudicators don't want to deal with it because I doubt very much any of them are actually legally trained too. They just know it's a presumption, you're guilty, well, no. I'm presumed innocent. And there's the conflict. They're trying to presume I'm guilty using legislation, and I'm presuming I'm innocent using legislation. You've got two opposing legislations clashing with each other. Okay? So, um, they might say if I want to transfer liability to the driver, fill out a declaration. I don't have to do that. It's not my job to give them information so they can go and try and get money off of someone else. It's not my job to do any of that. It's their job. They claim onus probandi, burden of proof, is on the person making the claim. The one being claimed against should shut the fuck up. It's really that simple. We'll see what happens here with Maggie in a second. Doesn't look good for Auckland Transport, does it? Not when I've got one staff member saying, give us a call. And another staff, and then when you do that, and do exactly what he asked for, you get nowhere. You get a stonewall. See now, if I hadn't given her all of that information to begin with, they wouldn't have been able to stonewall me. 
group of thought next time. Perhaps next time she asks, I'll say, oh, I'd rather speak to the adjudication team. And then, of course, she'd come back and say, well, look, without the relevant information, they're not going to speak to you. See what I mean? It's, it's ever-decreasing circles and whirlwind. It's up to them. Ask her about the billing information too. They owe me 75 bucks. You could say I'm calling their bluff basically. Does Auckland Transport want to spend thousands of dollars trying to prosecute me over an 80 over a $60 parking ticket that was unlawfully issued, which is already costing them money? Do they? I'm asking you, the taxpayer, are you happy to pay thousands of dollars for them to try and get their little bit of flesh and blood out of me? When I have the presumption of innocence. When you all have the presumption of innocence. Stop thinking you're guilty. Mark, are you there? I am, Maggie. Thank you so much for your patience. That's all. I just wanted to clarify with you, when you did, uh, so online you already applied for the court hearing request? No, not on, not not through AT's online option, no. I've, oh, okay. I wrote a, I wrote a letter on the 24th, or sorry, 25th, and that was posted to you on the same day, and Adrian said that you guys received it on the 29th. Yeah, because I double-checked with my team support, and I wanted to see here if we have received it. Um, but it doesn't look like we have. We've only got that letter that was sent out to you in regards to the court hearing. Um, what they did say is that because we haven't received it on the on the on the infringement notice, I do advise that you might have to apply for it on our main website, the application form. And it, as I've said, the online website also derives a confession. One of the questions is, were you the driver? Yes or no? It is not for me to supply that information. It is for Auckland Transport to support it with something. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, I've got recorded conversations with Adrian last night telling me that you have received it on the 29th, and now you're telling me you haven't. But not to worry, yeah, because as, like as, as, on, yeah. as, I've, yeah. as, as I was saying, Maggie, today, uh, just after lunchtime, I have emailed you, infringements at at.gov.nz, um, a copy of the letter from the 25th, along with a copy of your letter, and along with about 20 other attachments of legislation, so, okay. and I've received an automatic confirmation from AT stating that you have received those. So, you do have yeah. them. If you'd like to check your emails, you'll you'll see them there now. And 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 see my my other point is, why would you guys send me a letter on the third of November if you received nothing to from me in the first place? Okay, because you know if that. Do you, do you get yes, what I'm Mark, saying there? Just let me finish. The sure. system itself it usually goes through our admin team and it has a, quite a few high volume letters or emails that they usually receive then get delegated into the normal infringement. Oh, okay. So as I advise, we, I haven't received it at my end on the notice itself. Okay, so, so, so what, it did, what was... Still in the queue. My, my question being is that if you haven't received the letter that I sent on the 25th of October, what mm -hmm. did you respond to? On the 3rd of November, you said um, something about, we have reviewed, uh, thank you for your correspondence about the above infringement notice. Well, what correspondence are you thanking me for if you didn't receive it? That would have been classed, so you already sent it for a court hearing request, because that would be totally different. On the, on the, querying about. on the letter, if they yeah. had actually chose to read it, on the third paragraph on the letter dated the 25th of October, I state, we believe Auckland Transport have made this allegation an error, therefore we formally elect and or request a court hearing to discuss this matter, to derive evidence of this allegation presumed against Mark Donald Eric King, gaining resolution. That is me requesting a court hearing on the 25th of October that you guys received on the 29th and responded to on the 3rd of November. So, there is no explanation given in here for you guys to say we have reviewed your explanation. There isn't one in this letter. So, clearly, whoever's got this letter hasn't read it. I've been sent back a generic response. No one's actually taken the time to read this letter, which also shows evidence clearly pointing out the, the white hockey sticks marking a parking 90 spot. So, either someone either does their job correctly and gives me a court hearing, or I'll take this further to the minister. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to 
wanted to clarify with you, when you sent that correspondence over to us on the 29th, you've stated? On the 25th that was posted to you, you received it on the 29th, according to Adrian. Mm. So in, in that correspondence, did you request for a court hearing? That was paragraph three of the letter I just read to you, where I, yeah. I formally elect and request a court hearing to discuss the matter. I have then signed it, dated it, and sent it to the address that you guys supplied, which is what is required under section 21.6 of the Summary Proceedings Act. I don't have to fill out your online request or your little oh, leaflet that you've okay. sent out. I can request a court hearing in writing by my own author. I have done this before. I do not have to follow your questionnaires or your questions to request a court hearing. Mm. I'll double check off my team support again and see what the follow-up um, requests are. I, 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 would seriously, I would seriously suggest you guys look at that letter on the 25th that you responded to on the 3rd and read the third paragraph because it says it quite plainly. And there is no explanation anywhere because if I was to make an explanation, that would mean I have first-hand knowledge of what you, you guys are alleging. Yeah, no, that's okay. Bear with me for a minute. I'll just quickly place you on hold and I'll just speak of my team support Thanks, uh, and Maggie, I really appreciate your time, eh? I'm not, don't take anything personally. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. I don't mind. We just want to make sure that um, we get that call hearing. Because cool. that's the main thing you're wanting to do, oh, right? Abs absolutely. I, either, I mean, yeah. I would prefer to go to court. If you guys withdraw it, I'll be quite bummed out. I really love going to court. You know? <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I've studied okay. law for six years, so I do know what I'm doing. Mm. No, that's okay. I shouldn't be there long. Thank Not you. Long. Good Thank you. Cheers. So did you get that? She's trying to say they haven't received my request. It's all in the same letter that I sent them on the 25th. She's trying to say we haven't received a request for a court hearing. Yes, you bloody have. Read the letter. I don't think anyone's read the letter. They've just thrown it in the trash and jumped into the next one. That's why I sent a copy of that letter again today. And sure, it might go to a bulk centre and have to trickle through the shit pile to get down to them. I expect that. Bureaucracy is a crazy thing. The wheels turn slowly. But did you catch that? Maggie's trying to say, they're saying they haven't received a request. Read the fucking letter. That's why I read out verbatim the letter, paragraph three. We request a court hearing. So, did you see that? You need to go online. And I've shown you in part two, online, they ask, were you the driver? They have no right to get anybody to make a confession, whether or not you were or were not the driver. You know? Jeez, you know. They're legally trained, they'll understand what I'm talking about, sure. Yeah, definitely. But what I'll do is I'll send an email over and advise them to contact you straight away. That'd I'll be cool. that is urgent for you. Thank um, you. The best contact number is the number that you're calling off, Mark? Uh, yeah, the cell phone. I... Thank you. Now, I just have one other question. Um, sure. Uh, where would I send a bill to? The accounts, what's the address for the accounts payable for Auckland Transport? Because, um, unfortunately, by the warden issuing that uh, infringement notice on my private motor car, what he's done is entered into a tacit agreement to pay $75 administration fee. Because on my car 
is clearly notified that if they choose to issue an infringement, they're accepting that tacit agreement of paying an administration cost for me to process the notice. Yeah. So, uh, I need I'm not really sure. I'll double check here. Yeah. Oh! That's all right, I don't mind. Thank I pre you. appreciate your help. <laughs> you're having a chuckle in the background, are they? Doesn't look good when you're being recorded, guys, to do that sort of shit. Hello, hi. Hi, good day. My name is Vanessa, one of the prosecutors, so how can I assist you? Um, I'm curious as to why I haven't been uh, received a, a court summons for a hearing that I've requested. Hi. Are you are you Mr. Mark Pardon me? Are you Mr. Mark Pardon me? My name's Mark and that's my person, yes. And your surname is Keen? My family's last name is Keen, correct. K W E N. You there? Sorry, you're very muffled. I can hardly hear you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm just curious as to why they've sent me a hearing request form to fill out when I requested the hearing on the 25th of October. They responded back, that's what they responded to on the 3rd of November, telling me that they had reviewed my explanation when I gave no, ex I gave no explanation. I gave a conditional acceptance to accept their claim for value, staying in honour. And I've requested a court hearing to discuss the matter. I wish to be fully informed of the nature and cause of the allegation. And um, it seems that the only the only forms that Auckland Transport are asking me to fill out are asking me if I was the driver or not. That's a breach of my Bill of Rights, Section 25D. Okay, so that's the point. They hang up on you. What a bitch. Unbelievable. I'm not too sure what to do with that one. Very, very muffled. Couldn't understand a word she said. She said something that I should get something in the post for a date. Groovy. Let's do that. Actually, I will call them back because I want the accounts payable information. And I'm not too happy that their prosecution lawyer just hung up on me. So let's... Hi Jasmine, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. I was just speaking with Maggie in regards to an infringement. Um, yes? And she put me through to a prosecution team of a lawyer, um, who subsequently was very muffled, I couldn't hear, and then ended up hanging up on me. So, um, I'm, and I was still had other questions in regards to accounts payable. I need a, an address to send a, an invoice to for Auckland Transport. Um, is there some way I can get some notes on record in regards to the infringement notice? The fact that um, the the lawyer mumbled something about um, a date. I'm hoping I'm hoping that's for a court hearing. Yes, it will be. Yeah. <laughs> 
once your um, court hearing application has been submitted, they will process it and then they will be in touch with a court hearing date. So I'll get a summons, because that's all I want. Correct. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> I can't, I'm looking, for, I'm so looking forward to it. <laughs> so what was the fee? So you were wanting the address? Yeah, well, it would be. Accounts payable? Yeah, I need, a, I need to send them an invoice. Yes, cool. Awesome. I'll send them an email because yeah, they issued they, they issued a ticket and there's a notice on the car saying I charge seventy five dollars for administrating the the notice. So <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> so I can. Sorry. Well, it, oh, it, honestly, Jasmine, I I spent ten months four appearances and bet three police prosecutors over an $80 speeding ticket and won. So I am more than happy to have fun with the with the warden on the stand. He, um, he took the photo from 15 metres away <laughs> underneath the concave, three cars away, because I actually had a witness sitting in the car while he did it. Didn't come up, say anything to move the car, just dished it out. So I'll have fun with him in court. <laughs> Thanks very much, Jasmine. Okay then. Bye. Okay, so if you have an invoice or a query in regards to accounts payable with Auckland Transport, it's AP Queries, Q U E R I E S, at at.govt.nz. Feel free to send them a bill. Right, and that shall end part four. I will let you know in part five if I get a summons. Or if I get another bullshit response, and no, quite frankly I don't really care who signed it, because it's a robot. Um, perhaps I might get another response telling me that they've reviewed another explanation which I didn't give them. Um, I don't know. But you can see how the whole system works in controversy. It works in conflict, and there needs to be disputes. By staying in honour, accepting everything, and giving conditional acceptances, there is no debate, dispute, or anything like that. You're simply saying, hey man, I'll accept what you're saying, just show me some evidence, prove it, and let's have a court of law to, to decide. After all, that's what the system's there for. They use that system, that same very system, to squeeze absolute millions of dollars out of everybody each year. Do you think it's about time shit got changed? Do you think it's about time, you know, the system's got to change, or at least all the yous have got to wise up a bit, you know? Are you happy to be fleeced, vaccinated, worked and culled? Or are you going to actually say, hang on, you guys are supposed to be administrating the public's affairs, not bossing them around? But anyway, enough of my high horse. See you later, guys. Bye. Fire, cause they lit the spark